welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to create this look for you guys. I am currently doing a military inspired makeup series on my channel in honor of Memorial Day. I will link the other videos in this series down below so you guys can go check them out. And while you're checking out those videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is absolutely free, just in case you're wondering. So this look, in case you haven't guessed it, is inspired by the Navy. So for all of my Navy friends and family out there, this one's for you guys. I'm not exactly sure when this video is going up. Um, most likely my last two military videos will be going up after Memorial Day, or at least one of them will. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, my schedule did not work out how I was expecting it to, and I completely ran out of time. For this look, I do include two lip options. The first lip option is a brown nude, and I wanted to incorporate the brown because on the navy emblem, there is a big brown eagle in the middle of it, so that's why. But then looking at the eye look, I really wanted to add a pop of red. I don't know, it just looks extra patriotic that way. This look, by the way, would be perfect for July 4th. Just saying. So that's why there are two lip options, because I just could not decide. Comment down below which lip option you prefer. And before I forget, if you guys know anyone who was or is in the military, please don't forget to give them a big thank you for their service. If you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep watching. I already primed my lids, so we are going to jump straight into the eyeshadow. I'm starting off by placing some tape to use as a guide. Next, I'm mixing the colors Navy from my Lorac Pro 2 palette and Chaos from the Urban Decay Electric palette and applying it all over the lids. Now is the tough part, the eyeliner. I'm going to attempt to create a bold wing with this NYX White Liquid Liner. I had to go over the line several times to make it opaque. Then I'm using the shade Snow from the Lorac Pro 2 palette as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. I'm also going to take Navy and Chaos and apply that to my lower lash line. For my waterline, I'm going to apply this Navy Blue Gel Liner from ColourPop Cosmetics called DTLA. Now I'm just filling in my eyebrows with this Tanya Crooks Brow Gal Brow Powder. Next, I'm just curling my lashes and applying this Butter London Double Decker Mascara. To prime my face, I'm using this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. This is Pim the Pimple, by the way, so just ignore her. <laughs> so this past week, I was out in the sun a lot, which caused the lower half of my face to darken. So I'm going to do some color correcting with this Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette. I'm using the red shade to cancel out the darkness. For foundation, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Cream Beige. I'm first starting off with a beauty blender, then switching to a brush for more full coverage, and then going back in with the beauty sponge to blend everything out evenly. Then for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. Next, I'm going to set down my concealer with some banana powder. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with this Physician's Formula Bronzer in Light Bronzer. Now I'm just going to contour my face with this Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY Beauty. For blush, I'm using this Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. And for highlight, I'm going to use this Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips Bronzer in Vegas Strip. Here, I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Trend Setter as my first lip option. And here, I just decided to go ahead and set my face with this Project Beauty Setting Spray. Then, I wanted to add a bit more drama to the eyes, so I'm applying this very abused pair of e.l.f. lashes. I really need to get some new lashes. Like, for real though. So here I decided that I didn't really like the shape of the eyeshadow, so I'm using some makeup remover and a Q-tip to create more of a wing shape. And finally, as a second lip option, I'm applying this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in Desire. 
Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!